I have just finished knitting another of my videotape shopping bags. Um, nobody uses videos nowadays and you can get them for nothing. And uh, it seems to me that, you know, if you can turn them into something, to do so. Because I like making things from other things. So, this is a videotape shopping bag. And there's a bit of videotape there. Look, that needs to get tucked away. And it looks pretty. It's incredibly strong. Um, if you spill something, if something breaks and spills in there, you can wash it in the washing machine. And um, it's very stretchy. Uh, that little bag is about a foot across there and 10 inches deep. And um, cost me nothing. This one's a Buffy the Vampire Slayer one. So there you go. If you have old videos lying around in your cupboards, one of the things that you can make is a videotape shopping bag. Look how sparkly that is. Look, basically what you do, I cast on 40 stitches with a, quite a thick needle. Because my, my poor old hands, they're all arthritic and my fingers are twisting. So I use thick ones, plus you get done quicker. Cast on about 40 stitches and you knit just a big square, like so. Just a, if you imagine that double because it's been sewn up. So you just you knit like just a big however big you want it however deep you want it bearing in mind that it does stretch so you knit and then when you come to the end you cast off cast off cast off except for i think i left about 10 stitches and then you just carry on knitting the 10, 10 stitches because that's going to become the handle then with a bit of videotape and a bodkin I've lost my bodkin but a bodkin is like a big blunt needle what you use for threading elastic through things anyway you get your bodkin you get a bit oh here we go you get more videotape so fold it in half sew up the sides that side and that side and then you you just sew the handle so you, I've knitted up there so you sew the handle to that side. Nothing breaks these. You can carry loads and loads of tins and beans, tins of beans in here, and it won't break. It's incredibly strong and very stretchy. So if I wanted to put loads of big, big loads of bread in, I'd probably get about six loads of bread in there, believe it or not. There you go. Very posh. Videotape shopping bag. Didn't cost a penny, just my time is all it cost me. And um, yeah, as you can see, it's nice and sparkly. I've got loads of videotapes. People keep giving me videotapes. Then I keep knitting. I, I can't knit fancy knitting. I'm not, I'm not into knitting. I, I'm much happier making things out of wood and um, hammering nails and screwing and doing bits of DIY. So I've never been any good at knitting. I've never been good at like womanly handicrafts. But this is so simple. If I can knit this, anybody can knit this. Uh, and if you go to charity shops, generally they don't even put the videotapes out anymore because it's all DVDs now. But, you know, older people still give um, videotapes to charity shops. Ask them. And I knit so many of these, I find it relaxing to sit here knitting of an evening. I can knock one of these up in an evening. And I just find it relaxing. And it means that I'm moving my fingers so my hands don't stiffle up, stiffen up completely. I don't, know if you can, I don't know if you can see that. But this finger here, the top's twisting that way. 
or the knuckles are swollen. So I've got really bad arthritis in my hands. So bad. I had to give up uh, my dairy goats because I, I physically can't milk anymore. And I do miss that. Um, so, you know, I don't want to sit doing nothing because I'm going to, my hands will get stiffer and stiffer. So I just find knitting keeps my fingers supple. And um, it's a useful item out of something that wasn't any use. And I knit so many of them, and I'll stand in like Aldi's and Middles after I do my weekly shop or my monthly shop or whatever. So I'm standing in Aldi's or Middles. People still pay five and ten pence for a blooming shopping bag, a carrier bag. Why don't they take? A ca why don't they take their own shopping bags? So if I stand there and I see somebody's about to pay ten pence for a you know, for a carrier bag. I give them. If I've got a spare one of these with me, I give them a videotape shopping bag. Tell them what it is. Tell them how easy it is to make. And hopefully that, you know, when they come shopping the next time, they'll bring their bag with them. So, A, that means it's cheaper for them. And B, we don't end up with more plastic things in the ocean being swallowed by turtles and God knows what else. I hate plastics. It seems you can not get away, you can't get away from them nowadays. But, but anyway, if you can get hold of an old videotape, you, you undo the case. There's like, some little screws, so you just undo the screws, take the case apart, and you've got two reels. So make sure all the video's bound onto one wheel, reel. Take it off, cut it to start the end, cast on 40 stitches. Knit for as long as you like, just keep measuring it by holding it up to see whether it's going to be deep enough for you. Um, it, I, I knit one of these out of, a, uh, out of a one videotape, makes a shopping bag. So there you go. And I've got dozens of videotapes, dozens and dozens. Not that, I mean, I haven't got a telly, so I'm not going to have a video re recorded to watch anything. But people keep giving me videotapes because they know what I do with them. So there you go. Videotape shopping bag. Easy peasy. And um, instead of throwing your videotape into landfill, make a shopping bag. Got to reuse stuff. Reduce. Reuse. Recycle. 